Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to go over Assassin's Creed Ragnarok. So there have been some details leaked about this new game, it's going to be coming out soon, so let's dive in. So the next entry in the Assassin's Creed series is apparently Assassin's Creed Ragnarok. I'm sure you guys have heard about this already, and the title is set in the Viking era, and is intended to preserve RPG mechanics, co-op, and more. So it might uh, have aspects of Unity in there as well. Uh, so the leak that just came out today, uh, it says that Ubisoft is aiming for a cross-gen release in the coming year. The Viking setting was already hinted at in previous leaks. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the videos by Joe Raptor or anyone else, but uh, they talk about the Easter egg in Division 2 and all of that. But uh, today's leak actually came with some really interesting uh, actual visuals. So I've got five screenshots here that we're going to go into deep discussion about. Uh, but before we do, I uh, just want to go over some of the main aspects of the leaks that have come out so far. Uh, so Assassin's Creed Kingdom, uh, the code name is created for PC as well as the current and next generation of consoles. It appears under the name Assassin's Creed Ragnarok. The main character of the game is an ally of Ragnar Lodbrok and helps build the great pagan army. The map is divided into several kingdoms that span the whole of the UK, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and Finland. So expect this to be a lot bigger than Odyssey and probably a lot more open ocean as well that we have to traverse. Uh, the kingdoms are divided into regions. There are settlements there. The settlements have some adjustments uh, options in the game management system. Uh, great conquest struggles will return to the game. They can be used to weaken enemy held regions and are part of the story. The player becomes an assassin and uses a hidden blade. So the hidden blade is definitely going to be a big part of this. The first Civ tradition is a little less extensive than in Odyssey. And uh, there you will find a vault and Mjolnir. So you get to use Mjolnir. That's pretty awesome. That's Thor's hammer. Uh, for those of you that aren't uh, familiar with that. The game is mainly developed by Ubisoft Montreal. And co-op returns can be used in most side quests and world exploration. I don't know how I feel about this co-op type thing. Uh, especially with the way Anthem handled it. Where you kind of had to do a lot of the main, si or main story quests as well. They wanted you to do them with people. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how, how uh, Ubisoft deals with that. The RPG mechanics, eagles and ship battles return. Naval fight, however, is weakened. The focus is more on exploration, and it should go more the direction of Breath of the Wild. So you should be able to explore places for better loot and solve uh, the question marks on the map. So the, greater, the, the biggest focus in this is uh, on build and armor uses as well. So you'll get a lot more customization, it looks like, with Ragnarok. And the player has the ability to quickly change outfits, which can speed up or slow down the rate of ascent in various kingdoms and prevent the sheriffs from pursuing you. Cool, so you get a lot more stealth mechanics. Alright, so let's dive into the pictures. This first one, uh, it looks like you've got a, a Viking shield, or rather a, a, a triangular shield, and you're sitting up on top of this rope in this uh, village, and you've got a, a, a Norse maiden... Uh, she looks like she's about to be attacked by this guy. And the graphics are, are obviously not to the level that we have come to expect because this is probably an early build and they haven't really turned on all the bells and whistles. So this looks pretty cool. It, uh, and you're wearing, it, it kind of looks like uh, what the Englishmen would have worn. So like the English army and uh, kind of looks like you're probably, I'm guessing you're in England at this point or the UK. And yeah, you got a sword, you're climbing up. I don't see Mjolnir anywhere, but the Viking village uh, aesthetic in the second picture that we're looking at now uh, is pretty cool. And then it's a Viking style shield, so that's pretty cool. In this third image, we're riding into another settlement, it looks like. Ooh. And uh, there's a mountain in the background, we've got some uh, makeshift uh, defenses, and looks like I'm guessing this is probably going to be in yeah, Scotland somewhere is my guess just by the foliage and everything and then in this uh, image we get to see the Viking uh, boat um, and you're traversing this landscape and I'm guessing that's the the cliffs of Gibraltar right there uh, that's just my guess find out when the game comes out and uh, finally 
in this picture, uh, your outfit's very different, and you're with this, I guess, Norse woman as well, and the village uh, looks like you can over you're overlooking the ocean, so this is probably uh, some, or this is not you, you're probably looking at these people, and um, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting style, uh, but yeah, it should be cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks for watching. Please like this video to help other people discover it, and subscribe with notifications so you can know when a new video comes out, or I go live on Twitch. I would uh, love to see you in chat, and uh, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer those, so feel free to ask those in the comment section below. Once again, thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.